Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. T to the Y to the M to the A R A. Alright, today we want to see what's going on in your energy. So Spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. I don't drop the card on the ground already. No. I guess it's not important. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, then check out bandtomorrow.com at the link in the description box below. Alright, let's see what's coming towards you, Sagittarius, at this time. See what's going on. Okay, for some of you Sagittarius, I feel like there seems to be I feel like in the past there could have been a strong argument or disagreement possibly with a sister or a family member. This could be either your sister or somebody could have had an argument with their child. I feel like there is this energy where you could have probably either gave somebody advice i don't know why i feel like the sister is younger and maybe she acts like your child you could be an older sibling or something but i feel like maybe you could have gave somebody advice about their spouse or significant other your sister could have been married and you gave them advice about their spouse and you could have probably warned them about something if this is not an actual sister then this could be a person that comes off as a sister you could have gave them a warning about this person saying that and their behavior or mannerisms is a certain type of way. I feel like I feel like you gave this sister some type of advice or, or something. And I feel like they didn't listen to you. And this is during the time that they were married or in this relationship. And now they are heading towards a divorce. And I feel like now the sister knows that you're right. Or maybe she disagreed with you. Y'all had an argument. But now she can see that she was right about the things that you said about her spouse. Her spouse could have had tattoos or something that's significant to a tattoo or piercings or something is what I'm getting. I feel like this argument or disagreement because your sister chose a spouse, this could have came in the middle of your relationship for some of you. Yeah. This sister doubted you. They doubted you and they were unsure if they either wanted to continue talking to you or communicating with you. I'm getting one of the, those energies where no matter what, whoever this is, this feminine energy, no matter what you say, you could have told them, hey, they're cheating, they're very flirtatious, or I don't like the way they was looking at me, they complimented me on my tattoo or my pierce, or something like that. And the sisters decide to get mad at you and say, oh, you're trying to take my person, you're trying to take my man, you're trying to take my woman, you're trying to do this or try to do that. And that, that made y'all have a falling out. They doubted what you were saying. And maybe you're not that type of person is what I'm getting. And now... After some time had passed, they really see their significant other's true intentions and they heading towards a divorce. They are heading towards a divorce, but the sister doubted you and y'all had it falling out. And now, I feel like your family member feels very burdened about the situation or scenario, the way that it turned out. Now they're seeing this person's true intentions they're seeing what happened in this situation but it seemed like they 
I'm getting the energy of this person having maybe like one of those strong personalities that regardless, you can't tell them anything. They have to be right about everything. No matter what, they don't like to be seen in the wrong. They don't like to be embarrassed. So this is the type of personality that they had that they would not take this advice or listen to what you were saying. Because I feel like somebody keeps has this type of face that they don't want to seem like they're failing. Or especially when it comes to you, maybe because you the, are the older sibling. There also could have been some in there also could be this energy here where something could be centered around a child. They could have children or maybe the problems could have stemmed around a child. Somebody's birthday is in the month of June or November. I feel like you strongly you strongly kept quiet about this situation. Like after you spoke up and told this family member, like I think your spouse is cheating or what I'm picking up on their energy, they don't seem truthful, they're doing something, they seem flirtatious, I heard it through the grapevine, whatever this is that you told your sister, I feel like you slowly kept quiet and you like, you know what? I ain't gonna say none of that, nothing else about this. They wanna see. So you remain calm and you mind your business, but you was watching and you saw what was going on. And now this person, they feel very burdened right now and they want your support. They wish they could talk to you or have your support. I feel like they are going through this divorce process now and now. And then they realized that you served a strong purpose in their life and you was trying to save them. And actually, like, you were just, what you were doing for them with telling them this truth was actually blessing them. You was trying to actually look out. And the whole time this person was being betrayed. There was, like, they could not see. They had these rose-colored glasses on. Their spouse or significant other was being deceptive, and you was really looking out for them. You really was actually a blessing in their life, but they chose their spouse. They chose their spouse or believed their spouse's words, and this person's very deceitful. I felt like you picked up on this person's energy, and you realized that they had some type of hidden motive, and you saw this person's true colors. Wow, we got betrayal and deception out here twice. Betrayal and deception. I feel like this family member, this sibling, if this is a sister, a sister or feminine energy, hell, this could be your girlfriend. This could be your girlfriend, best friend, cousin, some type of feminine energy. And they strongly was betrayed. I mean betrayal. <laughs> they strongly was betrayed. I feel like either they could have got cheated on twice or maybe for somebody, somebody's child is not somebody's or something happened pertaining to a child. Hell, somebody could have been trying to talk to a child. Something was going on here. And I felt like you picked up on the energy sooner than later and you chose to speak up and say something. And this person, they took and put all that energy on you. And they were questioning your relationship and you was just remaining loyal to this person. You really just wanted, so after that, you like, I'm gonna mind my business. Whatever happened, happened. Whatever way this situation play out, it don't have nothing to do with me. I'm gonna mind my business. I don't wanna hear nothing about it. That's, that's their business. Whatever they go through is what they gonna go through. So you stay quiet and you seen how things was gonna play out. Now you see how it's playing out. I feel like you see now how things are going. what came out karma this is this person's karma they're dealing with their karma this is what they have to go through and this person wish that they can receive your forgiveness they wish they can receive your forgiveness they are going through the ringer they are exhausted with what they're going through in this marriage as they're going through this divorce and it seems to be a lot it's a lot going on it's a lot going on in this relationship, in this romance. I mean, in this relationship, somebody cheated. Somebody cheated and they chose their spouse over you or over you and what you said. You were trying to look out for them. You were trying to tell them that, hey, somebody has a motive. Either, let me see, I'll, let me go into the tarot. 
because I almost want to say somebody's using either your, your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend is using you for money or they're cheating on you or they have a secret baby or something and you and your sister had a falling out. Y'all had a disagreement, an argument, and they cut you off. And they're like, no, this couldn't be my guy. They would never. And then you're like, okay. I ain't going to tell you nothing else. I would never tell you anything else again. And now they want your support while they're going through this divorce or this breakup. And you feel like this is their karma. What was it that this... What was it that the spouse was sitting here doing, Spirit? What was it that the spouse was doing? Okay, this could have been a Pisces. You could be going through something with a Pisces. Um, it's like you knew. We got Pisces out here and a Taurus. Something with a Pisces and a Taurus is coming out in the family. Didn't I just say this? I just said this. King of Pentacles. Money. I feel like you either could have told your sibling, like, hey, this person is using you for money. They're playing, uh, they're using you for money. They're playing you for money or they're unhappy or somebody is lying about going to go get a job or looking for a job or new employment or somebody is lying about going to their job. Somebody has a drinking problem. Somebody has multiple partners or they're putting their emotions into somebody, into multiple people. So like somebody could be online hooking up, dating somebody, but they are giving their emotions out or they paying for something or giving money to something. You either could have told this, told your sibling, hey, they scamming. They on these dating websites. I saw them on some type of... I just heard Ashley Madison. I saw them on a website somewhere. I saw them talking to my friend. I saw them down there at the gym and they was flirting. It's something like that, Jess. You said... You said this person was not at work. When they was at work, I saw them out there talking to multiple people. We had a King of Cups out here and a King of Pentacles. I feel like you truly see look six of pentacles giving something away I almost feel like you went and said hey um you want to say you went and quietly spoke to your sister or sibling off to the side and you're like, hey, I want to be here to support you. You can come lay on my couch. Um, I have some news I want to tell you. And you really came at them in a mature, level way. You really came at them at a place of love and support. And you offered them something. Like, you can lay on my couch. I can help you if you need to pack. If you need to do this, I got your back. And this person just was like, I don't know. The, <coughs> the sibling, they took everything out on you. It took everything out on you and you generally was being caring and generous and letting them know like you was not doing it in a malicious way. You um truly wanted to be supported. Could you truly wanted the best for your family member? Ten of, um, ten of cups. You truly want to see them happy. You truly want to see this person. You care about your family. I feel like you care about this person. You care about your family member, so you truly want to see them happy. And you feel like if this person is not for them, they don't need to be with them. So, and, and this is pertaining to their marriage. you like, I can see that this person is up there juggling somebody else. There's somebody else here. I feel like there's somebody else here. They're not happy. Either you could have told your sibling they're not happy. They don't feel fulfilled because they either see you as the breadwinner 
or you had this feeling that you are the main one loving them and they're not loving you back you can see that they're unhappy about something and you could have caught them doing something i feel like you told your sister like hey you're all the way into this person but they're not all the way into you or something is going on they're juggling you they're spending money on something ten of pentacles in the reverse they are up you could have told your sibling your um your spouse is upset because of their financial stance they feel like you make more money than them and they feel like you get more love and support or something than them somebody feels less of a man or less of a woman or something somebody just totally not happy in the house and so here they are the food card going out here going to go talk to somebody else and you caught it and you and your sister had an argument and here you are, you're going there, page of pentacles. You want to go tell them. You want to go tell your sibling. So overall, out of this reading, your sibling wants your forgiveness. They want your support because they are going through this divorce. It's something that you saw at, that was going on ahead of time. And they took all that out on you. And they want your forgiveness. So what's what's the outcome here then for Sagittarius? What's the outcome here? What's your Sagittarius? Matter of fact, let me pull this. What's the advice for Sagittarius then with this situation? What's the advice for Sagittarius? Mm. You have the X. Forces working against you. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Secret admirer. Hold on, I'm going to bring it all together. I'm going to bring it all together. I want to see something else. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Good luck. You're highly thought of. So Sagittarius, the outcome of what I'm getting is this person misses you. They miss you. They highly think of you. They're like, dang, Sagittarius really had my back. They really loved me, showed support, and I I treated them like they were nothing. Um, they really was actually my good luck charm. They really actually was looking out for me. Um, I truly respect them for telling me the truth. Unfortunately, I didn't see it at the time. And so this person truly, they think about you. They admire you. Uh, you're still on their mind, the sibling that you may not speak to anymore. They're dealing with a lot of depression and anxiety. Um, they're having to deal with this person being against them as they're going through this divorce or this breakup. They feel bad for working against you. And it's like they're dealing with their own karma. This person, this sibling could have, I feel like this sibling could have had an anger problem. And now they're feeling sorry about how they treated you. They could have really like took all that pain and anger out on you. And now they're going through this storm. Karma really came back around and bit somebody in the butt. So that's what's going on. So give me a message, an angel number for Sagittarius spirit. You could be seeing angel number 0440, and this speaks of that gut feeling, speaks of the gut feeling. Spirit is telling you right now, you need to follow your gut. It says it's more than just a feeling. Be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships. Remember, you also must bring value to the table. Treat others with respect or else karma will bite your ass. Three is a crowd. Mm. Follow that gut feeling, intuition, betrayal pessimism relate and buy you insight increased perception love and monogamy that's what this means so follow your gut is more than just a feeling you were following your gut you followed your gut it said people um be real with people and focus on meaningful relationships so you were following your gut you were being real with this person and letting them know you was trusting your intuition you saw something you spoke about it you said something because you know that 
you knew karma would bite you in the butt like sometimes people are just as guilty if you see somebody doing wrong and you don't say anything you're kind of just as guilty because that means that you're accepting something you're tolerating something or especially if you're aware of something somebody knows you're aware of something you see somebody doing wrong it's like you're just as guilty you're just as guilty with them and so with it saying three as a crowd you know that somebody was cheating somebody was cheating or had some extramarital activities or something so, and you wanted to bring value to the table. This was like valuable information that you truly chose to speak up on. So they're telling you, continue to follow your gut feeling. If you feel like you want to speak up on something, speak up on something and don't feel bad about it or whatever the outcome may be. <coughs> this is where you feel like sometimes spirit will give you the gift of insight and you can see things. And you had that increased perception to spot something when you see something. So speak on it and know that if you're doing it out of love and not out of hatred or anything, you know, malicious or anything, continue doing that. Continue trusting your gut feeling. If your gut told you speak up on it, say something, let this person know, even if it's going to hurt them, then continue to follow your gut feeling. And lastly, you have angel number 555, and this speaks of change. It says you are going to level up. It might not feel good initially, but it will prepare you to, to handle the greater things in life for your highest good. That is the why you've been looking for. Push through it. There's a reward at the finish line. So this is for encouragement, support, obstacle, battle, calling, creative work. So follow your gut feeling. A change is coming in for you, Sagittarius. And they're saying you're going to level up. And it might not feel good initially. And I'm pretty sure dealing with your family member feeling some type of way towards you, even though that situation happened towards them, unfortunately, they're telling you that <coughs> this may be a battle, but you're following your calling. You're going to level up before this. You're going to be rewarded at the end of the finish line because of what happened, because you did something with integrity and you followed your gut and you trusted your intuition. So this is all I have for you at the time. If anything resonated, leave me a message down below and I'll see you next time. Take care.